Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 225, Nasdaq's up 60, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold contract up $19.80, $18.98.70 an ounce. We got silver up 47 cents, $23.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $78.39 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading up 24 ticks at 115.06. The 30-year up a full point and a half at 130.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 877 ticks, trading 102.300. Euro is at 108. Yen is at 129. The British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. Well, let, let's go into the futures first, because if you were in front of a computer this morning when the CPI came out, folks, it was a roller coaster. We had some round trips. Look at these round trips, man. This is this is like you gotta love this, man. I mean, this is about as sick as you can get. So. When you take a look at this, look at these bots. So, from first off, from high to low today. Well, even, even before the CPI came out, folks, the high was 4,019. Now, then it went down to 39.54, shot back up to the 4,021. That, and that's when that shot up. That was when us tigers and tigers in the den were saying, okay, something must have leaked because that was, you know, uh, well, that was the first one, right? Yeah, that was, the, that was the first spike. Hold on one second. Yeah, that was the first spike. Then the bottom line, it comes all the way back down into that uh, 3970, and now let's take a look. Yeah, we're going back down here, man. There's way too much volume. Yeah, look at this. The first spike down had 98,000 contracts. You go up, with 36,000. You go back down with 67,000. You go up with 20,000. You go down with 50,000. You go up with 28,000. We're coming down, man. That's, this is pretty cool. I, you know, when you get clarity like that, folks, <laughs> we'll watch this play out, but the bottom line is that that is huge clarity. We get into the NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX. So what we have here is that your first spike Got up to 11,550. Then you shoot down to <laughs> 11,445. Now, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again, so because, well, anyway, the, the volume is all downtown here too. The first spike down had 41,000 contracts. We go up with 13,000. We go back down with 28,000. We go back up with 9,500. 9, you go back down with 20,000. You go back up with 11,000, that's telling me that, guess what, all, all these lows are actually vulnerable today. That's how that shakes out. King Dollar, now King Dollar, look at this, man. So this is gonna get really intriguing to see, you know, how far this actually can go. Because what you have with King Dollar is that, now we don't get volume on King Dollar. Actually, what I, why don't I do UUP, watch this. I'm just curious on the UUP is that if it has volume taken out a swing point, because we'll be taking out a swing point for sure. Okay, so UUP, no, it doesn't have volume, interesting. So you don't have an ABC down. Now, that's why I was going over there. So now let's go back to King Dollar. We take a look at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on a weekly first, then on a monthly. Okay, so on a weekly, yeah, you set up, I mean, right there looks like the next number, man. I mean, this is, we, when we took off uh, April 29th, the week of April 29th, the low of that is 101.040. You know, there's not, there's not much to stop it there. You can see that's, and we only traded there four or five days. So this is going to be intriguing to see, you know, how this uh, shakes out. What's really intriguing is the dynamic between, you know, the dollar going down and the market, you know, it, it's up, that's for sure. I mean, you know, but the bottom line is that 
prior to this, when the dollar was down this kind of numbers, you'd have a market that would explode topside. Um, CPI, the bottom line, CPI, you know, month over month wasn't bad, but you're still running at a 5.9. So it's like, okay, man, you know, that's big numbers. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, you got Tesla is uh, flat. American Airlines is up a buck. You got, uh, let's see, Advanced Micro is down forty-eight. We have uh, Facebook up uh, four bucks. That's a big number, man. So let's go inside the Dow Industrials, take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, Point-wise out here, let's see what we have. You have uh, Boeing putting po 38 positive points, United Health 30, Caterpillar 30, Honeywell 24, Disney 24. Take it away from it. Amgen minus 18, Big Mac minus 12. Nothing heavy out there. Inside the NDX 100, you have Mercado Libre is up 8.5%. You got uh, Cognizant Technologies up 6.5%. Airbnb is up 4.5%. Taken away from it, Illumina is down 5%. You got uh, Zscaler down 3.7%. Um, Veris, Veris, Gilead's down 2 Now let's. I want to go over to Airbnb for a second. Take a look at this. Okay, so Airbnb, the low is 81. The high is 191. Okay, so... Okay, we'll see what it can do. Put it on a weekly. Let me see what on a monthly what this did. So on a monthly, it came back. Well, it did come back and test with lighter volume. Last month, we had 36 million shares versus 62. So that's good. that could get interesting, man. Let's go take a look at the big uh, Microsoft. Microsoft was going to the top of that gap. I remember when Frank called yesterday. Let me look at this thing. Yeah, there's the gap. So the gap is at... 237.40. We went to 239. You get a contraction of volume. Yeah, we'll see where this closes out, but looks to me like that was just filling the gap. We go take a look at Apple. A sideways move. Doesn't look that bad, though. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.